Hello everyone, welcome to Children of Silent Town. This is a cool little kind of murder investigation game. Apparently Pentiment wasn't enough for me. Um, where we're in a, we're a bunch of kids in like a village in the middle of the forest inhabited by monsters. The art style is really, really cool and that's what drew it to me. Um, I almost played the demo multiple times but never got to it. So I'm very, very excited to see the release of this. So it's a point and click adventure. We'll be solving puzzles and stuff and uh, investigating murders. So let's see what we're going to get ourselves into. I'm very interested in the setting. Just like I would read a book about a bunch of kids in the forest, in the middle of a forest inhabited by monsters. That's an interesting premise to me personally. So we'll see uh, how this goes. It is a known fact that we all have ears to listen and eyes to see. Yeah. As we get older, our senses go numb and our perception fails us. However, sometimes those who have a great sight look the other way, while those who hear well do not listen. Because more than old age or any kind of illness, fear is often the hardest disease to treat. Yeah. Ever heard of Silent Town? A handful of roofs standing out in the heart of the forest. No voices, no noises, only whispers and gasps. People enslaved by rules to stay safe. Because while the forest by day was calm and peaceful, once night had fallen, you could hear them roar. The monsters. God. Okay, yeah, that's 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 quite a powerful opening. Okay. That nightmare again. Thanks for the ball. Hey, Lucy, pass the ball, please. God, yeah, the eyes are so striking. There's the, like, like I said, the, the aesthetic of this game is what initially drew me to it. The art is very, very interesting looking. You got a ball. Yay. Very, very happy about this. Oh, thanks, Lucy, pass it here. So now, go to my inventory, use ball on you. Could have thrown it, but uh... Thanks, I threw it a bit far this time. What were you doing? I had another nightmare. Oh, I see. I have nightmares a lot too. Really? How do you get the feeling to go away? Um... Me? I... I don't know. When I'm scared of something, I hide so well that nobody can find me. That's why I'm so good at hide-and-seek. Wanna join us? We're all playing in the square, but we need another player. <clears throat> sure. Let's go. Yeah. The start to any good game. Hide-and-seek. Here. Take it. I thought we were playing hide-and-seek, not, uh... God, what is this game called again? Blue, you're not supposed to stop the ball. I'm gonna show you my super shot. Not again. Blue. Uh, cut it out and play by the rules, or show me what you got. Um, see, I'm already thinking about the rules here and everything that we need to follow to survive. Are you gonna like scream or something if you say if I say show me what you got? Um. I mean, I, let's have a little fun until we're shown that we can't, we can't. I'm worried you're gonna scream and then like, I don't know, a titan is gonna run through here and eat us. Eh. Here comes Blue's super shot. Straight into the garden. Here we go again. Lucy, I've been waiting for you. Told you not to be late, remember? Come on, we have to make dinner. Say goodbye to your friends, dear. Hi, Mom. Yes, I'm coming. I have to go, guys. See you tomorrow. Hi, Lucy. See you. Ugh, who's gonna get the ball back now? 
Take care, children. It's almost evening. You should be heading home soon. Yes. Blue the ball. Why is it always me? Or, that was probably Blue saying that. Here we are. Lucy, about time you showed up. You were supposed to come home a while ago, weren't you? So, something that strikes me as interesting here, I thought it was just going to be kids living here. I didn't think there actually would be parents. I thought it was like, you know, a um, Lord of the Flies situation where all a bunch of kids are stranded here. Why don't you help mom, honey? Let's cook some tasty dinner and then get to bed early. I mean, I suppose unless the kids were, like, placed here, basically, um, that would kind of be impossible because they'd have to grow up at some point unless we're dealing with, like, a Neverland situation, but, you know. I'll make us come looking for you next time, okay? Go help your mom now. Alrighty. Mom. Is there anything to examine? There's a bunch to examine. The fire's almost out. Pots and pans. Do we have a, uh... Do we have something that lets me know what's interactable? Like a highlight all interactable things button? Oh, cool. V-Sync is on by default. That's nice. Um... I don't see controls. So... I'm trying control, I'm trying alt. Those are usually the culprits in point and click adventures to highlight interactable objects, but we'll try to be as thorough as we can. Fire iron. It's all for used for everything but the fire. In books anyway. We don't we just don't use it at all. Yeah, it's it's a very good weapon. You know? We need a good fire poker. Salt is safe up there from clumsy cats like this kitty. Squinty, are you still sleeping? Oh, oh, purring, such a soothing sound. My, my one of my cats will, both of my cats have nice purrs, but one of my cats has an especially nice loud purr. It's very soothing. Water basin is pretty full. It'll be enough for today. Hmm, I'm hungry. Okay, could we? Nope, we couldn't examine that. Oh, okay. So, oh well, no. Now I can't examine that anymore. I was about to say, I'm like, is, are the, the things I examine? Do they go away? But no, it seems like that's not the case. Is this the little kitty food bowl? And there's the kitty bed. This is Squinty's bed. He sleeps anywhere but here. Yup, that's that's a cat. That's a cat. Get him a nice expensive bed. Ooh, this uh book lying on the ground looks like a nice spot. This is the candle we used to go down in the cellar. Creepy. Don't like cellars. Um, what, Lucy? Nothing, just talking to you, jeez. It's a locked music box. Mom says it's broken, but it's her keepsake. Cupboard does what most furniture does. It contains stuff. Good. Can I go up the stairs? I can go up the stairs. Alright, what do we got hanging out up here? A picture of Kitty. It's an old broken mirror. It belonged to my grandparents. It doesn't look broken. Eh, I guess I maybe see some cracks in there. Mom and Dad's room. It's locked. Okay. This music is very, very good. Hey, my diary's on the floor. What's it doing there? Better keep it with me. You got Lucy's diary. Awesome. Now you can use the diary. Here, Lucy will write down everything she discovers as she explores the town. Good. I needed more Beacon Pines Pentiment in my life, you know? My collection. That's what we got. What are these? Various tabs for things? They're little, like, stitched tabs? Interesting. Okay. What is this? This is Squinty's toy. How did it end up here? You got a toy mouse. Awesome. Will probably be useful. Maybe we can use it to distract a monster from killing me later. Oh, my sock's sticking out. It's like the trunk is making a face. You look cool. You have my permission to stay like this forever. Oh, Lucy's adorable. Yeah, it does look like it's your tongue sticking out. How I wish I couldn't hear the roars of the forest. Ooh. Yeah, this game is kind of already oozing atmosphere. This is Squinty, my cat. He's such a troublemaker. Exactly what I expected. It's an extra blanket for when I feel cold. But it's comfy and warm, and I have trouble falling asleep at night. I keep hearing those roars from the window. 
What exactly stops the creatures from just coming in? D is there like some sort of barrier or something? Or I imagine if there was a barrier, you would all feel safer. But maybe the the monsters just don't find this place, and when they do, it's a big problem. What a shock! It's full of socks. But your socks over there. What a shock! It's full of socks. Oh, I was trying to examine like the pencils and paper. Okay, ball. Been a while since I used my ball. Blue always brings his. Is it still inflated? Nope. Uh, all right. That's a no. I'm introduce you to Fluffy, the deflated ball. We will stay here until I'm forced to tidy up my room. Yes. Okay, so I examined the window, right? From here you can see the forest surrounding the town. Nope, I did not. Okay, I think that's everything in the room. Okay, so that's everything up here. We got my diary, which feels important, and I got Squinty's toy. Um, let's go. Uh, the cellar. I don't like it much. It's so dark and damp in there. Uh-huh. Squinty, I have your toy. Would you like toy? Would you like toy? I'm sure the little troublemaker would love this, but I don't want to wake him up. I should let him sleep. Oh, I don't want to play with kitty. Okay, I think we've looked at everything. I can leave, though. Should I leave? It's not dark out yet, but I have to cook with mom now. Okay, yeah, it won't let me leave. I remember this hole. It was just a chipped plank at first. Then my friends and I wanted to hide the cat in there, so we pried it open. I wonder why we thought that was a good idea. Dad wanted to fix it, but it ended up working as a cat flap. Now Squinty doesn't wake us up early in the morning anymore. It's so convenient. Interesting. Yeah, so you just have a hole in your wall. Weird. Kids will be kids and just do weird things. I remember something I used to do was, like, play chemist in the in the shower. I would mix the various shampoos and lotions and everything in the shower together to make potions and my, my father hated it because he would then go to use the shampoo and I had put water in the shampoo so it would just, like, cold water would just pour out on his head. Hated it. Come on, sweetheart. Let's make some dinner. Can you grab the saucepan? It's hanging next to the fireplace. Will do. Mom. You get a saucepan. I had to make myself some lunch after this, actually. I'm hungry. You got the saucepan and hanging next to- Oh yeah, I gotta- I gotta give it to you. This is an adventure game. Here you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Now let's see. What else? Fireplace needs wood. Pick up some from the chest and rekindle it. I'll start working on the stew. stew. Watch you don't burn your fingers. So I have to move kitty, right? Here you go. You want toy mousey? Hey, Squinty. Looky here. Yeah. It's toy mousey. Oh, Squinty's adorable. No, not into the cellar. Phew. Luckily's mom luckily mom's lyre didn't fall to the ground. It makes a really nice sound. You got a note. Interesting, what does that mean? Can I do things? I imagine I can do things with that. Oh, uh. Lucy notes down every unusual sh sound she hears in her diary, creating melodies. That's interesting. Once a melody is complete, you can use it in your adventure. Okay, this reminds me of the uh, charms from Beacon Pines. And now, back to the fire. Interesting, what a cool thing. Also reminds me just like, you know, of the ocarina from like the Zelda games as well. That's a cool idea. We note down different sounds and then we can make different songs out of it. I wonder what they do. Are we gonna get the sun song? I want the sun song. Or the song of storms. Love the song of storms. There we go. Alright. Ooh, listen to that fireplace. I hear some crackling. I guess the wood was enough. Now I need some sausages from the cellar. Could you fetch them for me, Lucy? Be careful with the stairs and take the candle. You'll need some light. Will do. I can't wait for things to go horribly, horribly wrong. I got a candle. Here it is. It's not lit, though. Alright, well, we're going down. Oh, wait. No, I need to... I need to light it. Yeah. Let's light it at the fireplace, I guess? Fireplace? There we go. You lit the candle. I mean, it's the only source of fire in here. I was thinking more matches or something, but yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Hello? Do I need to... It's, it's too dark. 
I have I have candle. It it is lit. How do I use lit candle? It's too dark. Um It's a candle holder. Oh, oh, I thought I was just going to walk with the candle. Okay. Okay, there there we go. That's better. Listen to this music. God, I love a good piano. I love it. Hello. I made this when I was learning how to hammer nails. <clears throat> Getting them to go straight is hard. Maybe I should take them out someday. Learning how to hammer nails? Failed hammering tests. Interesting. It seems like we can re-examine things too to get some additional context. Not easy to grab them when they're up so high. Up this high, but the cat likes them as much as we do. The ropes, yeah. It doesn't seem like I can re-examine that. Was that? Oh, oh, the so oh wait no, those are those are sausages. Oh, I got them. Okay. I was I thought you were talking about the rope thing up there. That must be, yeah, it must be the sausages. I thought it was just a rope. Dad says that if we try the fish, it'll last for a long time. He knows a lot of stuff. Reminds me of Don't Starve, and some Minecraft mods. Okay, let's kind of pixel hunt here. That's the fish that I just examined. We, of course, have our kitty. But, uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything else going on around here. Okay. Squinty, don't you even think about it. Squinty wants the sausage. No, yes, Squinty. Squinty can have some sausage if Squinty pleases. Ooh, wait, was this a hole? It's an old rusty sickle. Oh, I thought that was just a hole in the wall. I don't... Eh. I don't know. I'm scared of- I'm, I'm suspicious of everything. I'm like, that's gonna be a murder weapon. Now that I think about it... Squinty, leave that fish be. Shoo. Oh, you want the fish. Oh. You scared Squinty. What a little pest. No. All kitties are good. Until they're not. Are you talking about Luca? It's been two days already. His father didn't want people to know, but it's crystal clear. Oh no, this hasn't happened in so long. Will we ever be free? Don't be a fool, it'll never end. Do not forget, this is why we have rules. Dear, nobody can forget that ever. Not even for one night. How can you say such things? Been a long time since silence fell on this town. Yeah, I know, I know. But it happened, and it'll happen again. We were caught off guard. What will his father do now? Lucy? Oh, hi. You know, don't mind me. I'll go see him tomorrow. Let's try not to think about it now. Were they talking about another missing person? Ooh. Hello. Dad. Okay, you don't want to talk to me? Fine. Could just said so. Mom? Yes, Lucy? Well... N nothing I heard a noise earlier. Was Squinty in the cellar again? He was up to no good, wasn't he? Well, anyway, do you have the sausages? I sure do. Here you are. Sausages. Hmm, can you smell that? This is going to be delicious. Got some potatoes going. You say you were making a stew. Let's see, what else? Yes, yes, some salt. It's on the shelf, Lucy. Can you please grab it? Then you can go play. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, I need to get that. It's too high up. How can I reach it? The stool. Um, I, I noticed that our door is, like, weird and slanted like that. That's interesting, right? I've never seen a door that looks like that. Weird. Need your help, stool. You got a stool. There we go. Beautiful. Get over here. And down we go. Squinty, stop! Wait, why did I disappear? <laughs> Lucy. You, you're okay, I was so scared. Okay, my character disappeared there. I think what was supposed to be happening there was Squinty was pawing at me. And then I fell. You, you're okay, I was so scared. Forgive me, it was too high for you. 
Don't worry about dinner. I can handle it from here. As for you, little pest, get out! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sorry, Squinty. Go out and play. I'm on it. Sure. Where are you going, Lucy? Sun's setting. You should stay home. But... It's still light outside. I'd like to stay out a bit more. I swear I won't go far. Tell you what, when dinner's ready, I'll call you when you come back home immediately. Sound good? Alright, just don't go too far. Down's not safe after dusk. There wasn't even a door to open! <laughs> Louise. Just for a few minutes, and it's just in front of the house. You know why I'm worried. I want Lucy to be safe, and you're too lenient. Nah, I know why you sent me away. You sent me away so you two can do the dirty. Just got a few minutes to yourselves, uh-huh. I know. Stupid cat knocked me over. Now I'm going to have a bump on my head. No. Oh. Okay, well we're outside. Uh, and we can see the rest of Silent Town now. God, yeah, I love the piano in this. I'm, I'm a sucker for piano. I'm sorry. It's a little bench. Woodworker is really good at his job. Mom's liar is his work. Yeah, the liar. We heard the liar mentioned. Was it like on the stairs or something? Sometimes when we play hide and seek, I slip in here, assuming there's no woodworker around. He once threatened to lock us in. Every morning, the woodworker goes to the forest to collect wood. Everyone in town relies on him. I'd like to learn more about the forest, but he never talks to anyone. This is where the woodworker works. Better not touch anything. The woodworker always leaves his tools lying around, and then he gets angry if you touch anything. Bleh. Well, it's too heavy for me anyway. Okay. So, yeah, there's our door and everything. There's a sign right here. Hello. Water? Uh. Sorry, Mr. Spider. Yeah, the spider's just like, yeah, hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. This is my home. Squinty, did you make a new friend? No. Kitty. I love cats. Okay, so let's see here. I think this handle might break off at any moment. Ah, whoops, it actually came off. You got a weird handle. Okay. Can use it as a crank or something for later, maybe? What should I do with this now? Okay, well, we we broke something. Great. Let's use it on the thing. Yeah, you just shrug. You're like, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, person controlling me. <laughs> this junk has been here since they stopped working on the flower bed. I don't think they'll ever finish. I call it the scrap track. Looks like just some scrap metal. Like sheet metal. It's rusted. It's the woodworker's dog kennel. Where's the doggy? There's a dog house, but there doesn't appear to be a dog around. I'm, I'm trying to do the Silent Hill meme, you know. The one that says there's a dog house, but doesn't look like there's a dog around, and James is currently being jumped by a dog. Or is it Harry? I don't remember if that's Silent Hill 1 or 2. Mommy said not to leave the alley. Okay, well then... Sun shows the way to the well, in the square. Squinty? You purr purr. So, I have a weird handle, is that, is that all, uh, I needed to do here? Hmm. I mean, there must be- oh, wait, what is this? Oh, I thought maybe I put it in there or something, there was clearly a hole. I mean, could I just put the handle back on the door so I can go in here? Handle won't work anymore. Yeah, no, it's not an option. We investigated the doghouse. I investigated that. You won't let me go this way. <coughs> Hmm. Okay, then what do? Town no longer works. Well, we go to the well when we need water. Okay. Scrap or not, they make a great track for marbles. I see. I'm trying to... I'm still trying to figure out where in the world I'm supposed to be going. Hmm. Oh, wait, this is- this is new. Yeah, you mentioned, like, did you find a friend? I didn't see anything, though. I thought you were referring to the spider. But this seems to be talking about something- okay, so we had to interact with the cat. 
Kitty, kitty, what happened to your fur? You're all covered in salt. His name is Squinty. He knocked me over while I was getting the salt. Yeah, weird. It seems like some characters or elements, like, aren't loading. Oddly. He's a real pest. Always looking for trouble. Oh, <laughs> but of course. Cats can be mischievous, but also very clever. Did you mistreat him? Maybe he doesn't like you anymore. No, no, I'm sure that's not it. I can say that you're a good girl. Not like these cowards, whispering all the time. Bah. Believe me, child. They're all crazy around here. I'm a crazy old lady. You can trust me. <laughs> right, Furball? You can trust this crazy old lady. I... I couldn't tell you were a crazy old lady because you're invisible. Wait. Here, take this. You got a sticker. Lucy, you'll have to be very brave, understood? Uh, what do you mean? Ah, dumb old lady. You never give in, right? Tisk. Perhaps she really is a bit troubled. Yeah, weird. I've never encountered this problem in a game before, where certain elements just don't load. Like, characters are just straight up invisible. I wonder if it's something to do with the options? I mean, the only option I could really change is turning off V-Sync. And I'm not really sure if that would help. Weird. Very, very weird. So... Can I leave? Or mommy said not to leave the alley. Okay. Well, the pixel hunting's gonna be hard if there's just some things that are invisible, but... Okay, you're still just purring. Let's see if we can find anything else going on here. Oh yeah, and let's uh, investigate my sticker. What does this do? It's a bracelet made of pencil stubs. The crazy old lady made it. I've heard she was a teacher. I don't know if that's true. Bracelet made of pencil stubs. Okay, well that's not an item in my inventory, so I don't see how that's gonna help me. We have not been called back home yet, so now I'm once again not sure of what to do. Ooh, wait. The woodworker is crafting a new instrument. I wonder what it sounds like. Uh, well... Not what I expected. Mom's liar is way better. Who would even want something like this? Got a sticker. A tuba. Okay, well that was once again another invisible object, because I do not see it here. It's weird, it's like... I don't know, maybe it's the objects that animate specifically? Sometimes just don't appear? Maybe if I like turn off V-Sync or something, I, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to experiment with the game. Well that's something else to do. I would work you're extremely skilled, but I just don't like this thing. But, okay, so we got another sticker for that. Cool. Apparently I missed a sticker somewhere else. If they're all invisible, then yeah, I mean, it makes sense I'm going to be missing them. <laughs> it's me, I'm a girl, I'm 12, and I have a big brain, because I'm very smart, of course. You got a sticker. Okay, there, there we go, there's the other sticker that I missed. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we found that. This mirror really makes my head look huge. Okay, well there we go, we found the sticker that I missed. I just had to interact with the mirror again. Okay. I noticed I missed it because it, it was the first one that was missing. Still confused about where exactly I've got to go and what I've got to do, but uh, I guess we'll tackle this next time. Um, and I can kind of sit down because we got to end this episode, so. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Children of Silent Town, and I'll see you next time for some more.